Hello there, everyone. So today, before I share my top essential mods in Sims 4, I think out oh, my nose is <laughs> I need to share how to fix broken mods in CSIS first. I think it's more practical to do so. Also, I received a comment asking for a guide on how to navigate Sims 4 Studio. So we're gonna get that. Hopefully, this video will help avoid the frustration that we've all been through every time there's a new update in Sims 4 and also minimize the chances of having to deal with the 50-50 method. God, I hate that. This video is gonna be divided into five parts. You can skip through different parts depending on what type of broken mods or what kind of issue you're having with Sims right now, except for the yeah <laughs> anyway let's get into it the first one is last exception errors so sometimes while you're playing a game you get this the dreaded orange notification sometimes it doesn't show up at, at least i haven't seen this for quite a while but when i check the a folder and then seems for it shows up there the last exception text file i don't know if they they don't show up in the game anymore or if it's just my game i don't know or i just know i don't notice it because i sometimes leave my game in the background or like there while I'm doing something else but anyway so regularly check your PA folder for this last exception file and once you see that you can do two things first is go to lastexceptions.com and dump the last exception error message there if you open the text file with your notepad or actually you can just upload the file itself in that site so this site will tell you which mods or cc's are causing that error and you can choose to either update the cc check with the mod or cc creator if he or she or they have an updated version or just delete it it's up to you but unfortunately this site only recognizes last exception files within the 24 hours so if it laps more than that it's not gonna help oh. <laughs> it's not gonna analyze the file for you i don't know if you can cheat by copy pasting it to another notepad i mean if you create a new notepad technically you'll refresh the date saved in its properties i don't know if you can cheat like that <laughs> also probably change something in the text there change the date i don't know i haven't tried it yet maybe you can we'll see let me know down in the comments if you do and if it works i just thought about it right now so far i haven't received any last exception errors that's why i can't test it the upside though is you don't have to install anything it's just just dump the message the, the text file in that site anyway if you don't mind installing another mod is twisted maxis better exceptions this it's from the creator of the pool or tool where you can adjust your build by build items in different angles but anyway we'll get to that in another video but this better exception mod is just amazing amazing when you get the last exception error we instantly see what mod or cc is causing that error while we're playing sims 4 so that's really awesome and the first time you install this mod you can run it in game and check if there's anything wrong with your mods and cc so that's it it's a good checker especially during every after you update also when you run this better exception mod in game it also tells you not only the last exception errors but also any mods or cc that have tuning issues well they're not problematic at least not yet it's just a heads up either EA added new tuning or changed their tuning numbering. Is that, is that what you call it? But yeah. Or the worst is if EA uses a different version of Python uh, from what the most modern sources use, that usually causes a uh, like total breakdown of most mods and CCs. But the second issue is sudden weird lag or some other issue in game. Even if you haven't updated your game yet, or like if you, I mean, there's no recent update it just happened all of a sudden and you didn't install any new mods so so the first thing that you want to do is repair your game in origin the second thing that you can do remove any videos or screenshots and sometimes if you have like tons of them in gvs that can eventually like your game as well so you may you might want to back them up in an external drive or if it's just photos you can back them up in google photos google photos has unlimited storage and also it doesn't ruin the resolution that much the quality of the picture that much compared to like if you post them or dump them in social media like facebook or instagram 
So yeah, I think I don't know if Tumblr is also okay. I guess yeah, they also retain the quality there. I guess Tumblr is another good option for the videos though. Google Drive only has a 15 GB limitation, so it's up to you which videos you wanna back up. The third option is using this awesome mod detector by what's his name, Dimitri Malfato. It's not a Dated anymore. I think the last time this was updated was 2018, but we can still use it. I, I still use it from time to time, so we can download it from this site. And the first time we launch it, it's gonna be it's gonna show in Russian. Don't panic if you don't understand Russian. Just close it again, and the second time you open it, it's gonna be in English. So you can also download the languages pack if you want to change the language settings to your own local language. So yeah, and then if you have plenty of mods. You can select certain mods that you want to check. My mods are only around 12 GB anyway. So what I did was run this mod detector through all my mods, through through all through through my in my mods folder. Check gonna take an hour, I guess, or less actually. It depends on your PC. It's up to you if you want to like remove mods or CC that show this conflict message. But in my experience, these mods so far haven't caused any issues. So I just kept them. But what I love with Mod Detector is being able to check the duplicates. So this is a big deal. This is like once you delete the duplicates, because sometimes I uh, I got I get confused with the way I sort my mods, and I sometimes accidentally paste the same mods in just a different folder so this mod is like a lag remover for me most of my lags were caused by duplicate mods especially duplicate build and buy items once i removed this duplicate build by items my game started running so fast the loading screen whoa, i couldn't even read the tips anymore and enjoy the aesthetic you can also check the polygons of your build and buy items see if they don't have very high polygon count depending on your build and buy items like if, if there's if they're like small objects usually it's advisable if the polygons are just below 1000 and then for bigger objects more complex cc like mercedes benz here it's really well made ideally cc's like this shouldn't go past 30,000 polygons it's better to remove build and buy items that you don't use often that have lots of polygon counts to make your game run smooth. Alpha hairs, they, they can slow down your PC too. Depending on your, your build, it, it's it's actually bad for your GPU. Maxis Match is it's cute, it's okay. You don't have to like use alpha hairs for all your sims. You can just use alpha hairs for select sims that you love. And also like eyelashes usually have high polygon counts as well. So you want to minimize them as much as possible, especially if you're playing on a laptop. The third type of issue is mods not showing up in your game or mods that are totally broken after a new update. The first thing that we must all do before every update is regularly back up the following. The save file, tray file, mods folder, optional is screenshot <laughs> and videos. So the second thing that we should do is delete the mods folder and the local thumb cache file in the game and then third is we finally update the game and then after updating the game the fourth thing that we do is test out just the game itself without the mods if it's running okay if there's like no any weird issue because if there is that's is fault it's similar to the audio issue last after the snowy escape update and also the very annoying lag during build by mode after the seasons seasons update like years ago so yeah and we can't do anything about it just wait for another patch if everything's okay copy and paste only the non-scripted mods in your mods folder don't include the scripted mods those with ts4 script in them so that's that that's mccc slice of life mod etc etc go to their creators website and check for their latest version or check out the forums if players are not having any issues with them then you can like just copy paste all the scripted mods that you use and it's safer to always use the updated most updated um scripted mods and the sixth step is go to settings after booting up the game and check this so your mods will show up in game and then test it again if it's working if 
Yes, then. Yay! If ever you encounter this kind of abomination, we now go to the next uh, number four texture errors. So far, there are three types of abominations, <laughs> creepy abominations. The first one that we often see is this red red and black patches with question mark on them. This is usually caused by missing meshes. At least that's what I observed. I don't know if there are any issues that cause it. Let me know down below. But so far, it's what I've noticed, missing meshes. So what you're gonna do is, oh well, obviously it happens to pass items. If you're having trouble finding the name of that particular item, just create a test sim. And then, actually this is a great way to clean up your task items. So create a test same and put all the this abo creepy abominations, this um, this CC is causing this red and white, I mean red and black and with a with question mark thing. Uh, don't include any um, any CCs with the white patches. We're, we'll get into that. First, let's just focus on the red and black with the question mark patches. So um, put all your those CCs in this test same and also other CCs that you don't want to use anymore and then save that in your gal I mean not gallery save that in your um, in your game um, so it's gonna like show up in your household save file or tray file rather and then download and install Sims 4 tray importer so just link your link your your game um it should be in programs and origin and then your ea folder under the my documents folder after setting those up click your test sim and then click the cc tab and then go through all the cc's one by one and you have two options you can just simply delete those cc's from your mods folder or second option is if you didn't change the name of the CC as a CC creator, they usually put their name in the CC. So you can Google their name and look for the missing mesh. Or you can go to you can use Sims 4 Studio, download and install Sims 4 Studio. You need to log in though or um sign up in that website to be able to download this program and it's gonna be wishes so far for Windows and I think Apple for Mac. And once you have Sims 4 Studio installed, go to my click my project and then go to your mods folder and check, I mean, select the problematic CC based on the Sims 4 tray importer. And if you go to, so once you open that up, if you go to the meshes tab, you'll see that it doesn't have any meshes to help you find the CC creator. You can go to the warehouse tab and it's usually indicated in the this part who created this um, CC and usually the, the one you have is just a recolor so usually they link where they got the meshes if not that's gonna be a hell of a headache <laughs> to find so it's up to you if you still want to keep it or not after enough Google searching once you successfully find the mesh just uh, put it in the mods folder and try opening the game and see if your problem is fixed if not, then you can delete both. <laughs> the second type of problem is these white spots or weird shiny hair in your sim. So I actually created a video about it before. You can check it out here. Well, basically it's about a specular file error, problematic specular file, which controls the shininess of your sim's hair. You can just basically um, delete the existing specular file under this thing here. That, um, below the diffuse diffuse um, texture I put a link there to the specular file that I use and you can use that file to import in your as your specular in your sims okay the, and the third type of abomination is this so so if you see this and assuming that one you have already repaired your game in origin number two you have already use the better exception mod and remove any problematic CCs in them. And three, you've already downloaded and installed the latest updated scripted mods. So the fourth one that we all need to do is update the non-scripted mods. So to do this, we can go to the creator site and download whatever updated version they have. But usually non-scripted mods are less often updated compared to scripted ones. So what we're going to do is um, again, download the Sims 4 Studio and install it if you haven't yet. Actually, even if you have 
Sim Sports Studio already. If there's a new update from EA, the Sim Sports Studio team usually releases a, a newer version of their Sim Sports Studio. So regularly check on their site if they have a new version and use that. Delete your old Sims 4 Studio. So after opening Sims 4 Studio, go to Content Management and then scroll down to Batch Fix, then Cast. And then it's up to you if you want to allow or disallow certain CCs depending on your on the type of Sims you have. It's up to you if you want it for randoms or not. Personally for me, I run all the batch fixes for these things just just you know to be sure every time actually i do this um every time i install new cc's as well so it's like a safe prevention of for, for any issues even though it's kind of time consuming but yeah better be safe than sorry so i run the batch fix cats and dogs seasons skin tones makeup and any other else that that will be added in the future once EA release newer updates. But if you have other issues that are non-cast related, we go now to the last and fifth type of error, which is just weird errors related to build and buy mode, or even in live mode, especially like animations not working and dashes. And assuming that you have already done most of the things, I mean, the like repair origin, etc., the things that I've mentioned earlier. So what you're gonna do, is install the latest tips for studio and then for building by items like usually the the, the errors um, associated with this is like sims that are stuck in a certain object or while doing a certain object once you're in sims for studio go to content management batch fix and then select objects and then do batch fix depending on what type of build or buy items um you're having issues with or the type of building by items that you have recently installed and if it's animation or post related you can also batch fix them by going through content management and select miscellaneous and then click update post pack always remember to go through this batch fixes every time you install a new cc to prevent any issues in the future yeah that's all there is if there are anything any other types of errors that i haven't mentioned in this video let me know down in the comments below and maybe we can talk about it in another video so yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye